Alright, I can finally do this video. This video is for a friend named Soviet Dog on Discord. He's quite curious about the Celestial Pursuits, uh, Kaluv Taras, Fury of Eldorado quest. So I'm making this video for him. I'm pretty sure I'll split this into a lot of parts. Alright, so first we talk to the Hublat, Kaluv Taras Siege. We begin the siege. Yep, Fury of Eldorado. Yeah, let me quickly check weaknesses and stuff. What's wrong to Wrong luck. Alright, let's see. Uh, looks like I'll want to bring thunder. I already have the thunder attacking weapons. Shit, equipment. Breaker con spin. Infantry electric attack. Just gonna bring the double G set. If I was take that breaker charm for shock charm three. Okay. I'm gonna attack three, handicraft three, which Gives me more sharpness, path to gate, part breaker three increases the damage I can do. Dragon distance I'll place that and also place the wind proof. Airborne increases aerial attack damage. And yeah, uh, the decorations. Uh, dragon distance, I'm not gonna need that. Bolt school. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh well, actually, I guess you can come with me. Ah, I guess I have to attempt this quest sometime. That's a little embarrassing, but, uh, just quickly come down here. Hopefully with this new microphone, I sound better. Kinda be a shame if I don't. I think I'll split this video into, like, many parts, because even getting past the first phase of Kaluv Taras single is not easy. Uh, I'll more or less explain it when, when I get there, but it's definitely interesting, to say the least. Jeez, what a long waiting time. Alright, there we go. I'm going to pick up some of the Elder Melder. I'm gonna need... down here. Might as well turn my stuff. Now usually you're supposed to do this with 16 players, but uh, Monster Hunter World is like 4 or 5 years old now. Nobody plays this game. Very few people do. Uh, you know, everybody's either playing Monster Hunter Stories 2 or Monster Hunter Rise at this point. If not, then you're probably playing some older game like Generations Ultimate. Which I'm gonna get soon. Either that, or the people that are playing Real World are just playing solo. Alright. Set decoration.
Alright, let's check this skill. Maximum Thunder Attack, level 3 Handicraft, level 3 Part Breaker, level 3 Latent Power. So I forgot what Latent Power does. Alright. Light and power. Nah, certain conditions. I mean, I'm pretty sure when you're poisoned or burned or something like that, light and power will activate. Theory of El Dorado. Alright. Kalut Ross is definitely one large threat. So I'm gonna eat, let's see. <sighs> well, I guess in the first stage, uh, The first stage, Kalut Ross doesn't really attack you. He more or less just runs around waiting for you to break off part. So I'm just gonna bring pure meat to increase my attack. Two meats equal attack of small. Four meats equal attack of medium. 6 meets equal attack up 6, I mean large, you know, times 2 fish, times 2, 4 and 6 fish, um, equates to elemental defense, small, medium, and large, and 2, 4, and 6 vegetables equals uh, stamina up, vegetables increase stamina. Alright, so let's come back to me. Let me just get all the items I need. I'm not gonna be needing these. Definitely need these. I'm not gonna be needing these either. I'm not gonna be needing these. Alright. So, the way the Kalu Tarasi or any siege quest really works, like Robiante from the older game, Lao Shao Lung. The Dalimer, or well, Kalut Ross. Alright, in the main Monster Hunter games, the way the sieges work is you get a, a full gathering hub, which is 16 players, and each like group of players, fours, um, go into the quest to like gather points and deal damage, complete objectives, so that collecting and breaking parts will be easier, as well as you have more time to do it. Alright. I think she is. She's big and she's shiny and she's made of gold. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna take prepping stuff, but I need it. it. Music for Kalita Ross is on point. So sick. Any shiny hermit crab for me to collect? No? Well, if she is. Over here, right? Yes. Any cannons? No, stop climbing up the vine. Yep, cannon right here. So this first phase just blaster. Cat, load up the stuff. Ah, uh, can't reach her. Here, large barrel. Nitro screen. Interesting. Now it looks like I can't make anything with that. Whatever. Let's attack. I know. I'm already attacking her. I know. Oh crap, there's a boulder here anyway. Let me get ahead of her. Alright, she's heading this way, so I'll be doing stuff with this cat.
or she went the other way. I'm gonna need those. Keep it to me. Hurry up and get up. Boom. Occasionally, if you keep attacking her, she'll just like smack you out of the way. But for more or less, for, but for, for this first phase, she's more or less passive. Need a gold. Uh. All right, uh, that was a very good. Boom. Get it. But these times already almost stuck. Alright, uh, the game told me there's a footprint around here. There is a footprint. Money, money. Har har har. Hold up. Got a gold chip. Give it to me. It's right there. Ah, oh, move out the way. Also be picking this. Yeah, she's out. This is where it ends. Alright, she's gonna vanish one more time. The question is where? Not there, nor here. A scout flying told me some something trackable over here, footprint. Unless they'd be lying to me. Uh, they were lying to me. Perfect. Oh, well, dog, she's at the exit now. Ah, gold chips. Give me. Stupid dog, a locker. Got some more gold over here. Get that thing. Hey, stop stealing that. 
Yeah, the exit's like all the way over here. She's probably... She's probably making her way. Oh, really? There's no scout time? I mean, there's no wedge beetle? Alright, I've, I've just completely lost track of her. Did I pick this up? Yes, I did. This first phase is more or less just uh, trying to gather stuff. No need to do any serious like prep. Yeah, but this is the exit. This is where the quest ends. Oh, there's a good amount of tracks. Go! So many scattered chips over here. Yes. Well, yeah, she did. Give me it. Give me the stuff. There we go. I think I'll record myself doing this like one or two more times. That was eight minutes. So that's 143 pursuit points. Unfortunately for me, I believe that it's kind of, it may be a little impossible to do this completely alone. Because I doubt that uh, getting to the final phase wouldn't be hard. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's a, uh, what's it called? Pretty sure there's a... Uh oh, whoops, no, don't do that. So look, now if you come down here to the seas, it says, right. See now it has these kind of things. You need a uh, 325 points to get to the next level. So I'm gonna begin the siege. I'm gonna pay for my food. Pack up large. I was like, hold it. Yeah, whatever. I, I think what I'll do is after this next attempt, I'll, uh, I'll cut it off. But then once I unlock the third attempt, the next level of the siege, where the parts are more breakable. Um, she can be tracked down via the scout flies, and uh, she um, uh, and she finally starts attacking you when she becomes enraged. I'm pretty sure that's when I'll turn it back on again and be like, "Hey guys, it's me." Oh man, the music for this is just beautiful. Looks like she's coming this way. Can't stop playing the drums and help me load. Just like I thought she's going the other way, but she's not. Fire! I missed. Well, at least I just heard that. Footprint. Shut up, Handler. Nobody likes you. Oh, whoops. Well, thank you for telling me again. Being useful for once.
Also, it's also a cannon here. quickly rid myself of these in case he decides to come down this way and I have it so can just direct it this is the exit He's coming down this way. I believe. Right? Wait, he's questioning it. Yeah, she is. I did that clearly, but let's... Oh, come on. That sucks. Stab your toes. Gathered gold chips. Alright, now irrelevant to wherever she is, now she's gonna be rampaging towards the exit, which is up here. Which means all I have to do is wait for her. Wherever she may be coming from. Which is usually this direction. So I'm probably just gonna wanna push the cannon a bit like that. Then all I do is wait. to feel her footsteps. She's only gonna arrive from this direction, so... And even though she's enraged, she's not particularly the practice. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. Now look at the green is it. Just a little more. And there we go. Lots of damage. Okay, there's some boulders there with me. I could potentially drop. Okay, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ew, dog. Sometimes you'll just get a bit of Alright, yeah, now she's, she's leaving. She suddenly picks up a ton of speed. You can see she just dips entirely. More footprints? Oh, there's a little more footprints. And stuff over here. <laughs> yep, she's escaped. So, now more or less do it um, for this first part. The second part gets more interesting and longer permission, so. For the second part, um, the video will likely be a little longer.